back building the Wii Baby Core XY 3D printer. This is part three in the series and I forgot something in part two. It was to assemble the idlers in the corner brackets. That's coming into this part three as well as adding the rest of the printer parts for the brace frame. So let's get going. So let's add the rest of the printed parts to the base frame. And this is the bottom anchor point for the C drive. Make sure it's centered inside the frame. Then move on to the top idler bracket. And uh, I forgot one T-nut here. So I'm using hammer nuts for the screw. I forgot the T-nut for that one. These are the hammer nuts. Make sure it's centered also inside the frame. Then add the idler and make sure you add the shims as well. Don't tighten this nut very much. Make sure that the idler runs smooth. Then move on to the front top anchor point, which also is a tensioner. Make sure it's centered in the frame. Two screws on the underside and then add the idler and also the printed spacer. Then move on to the worm gear bracket. Add the brackets to the gear first and then add them to the frame. Use M5 by 12s to add the brackets to the frame. Also add a pulley here. Don't tighten the pulley at this point. Here you can see the bracket for the Y end stop. Let's now add the idlers to the corner brackets, which I forgot in part two in this series. Take off the brackets, kick out the bolts, add the spacers and add the idlers. This is the A side of the printer and look at the image, look at the COD model, make that you place the idlers correct because they are different on the A side on the B side. It is important to add the shims also here on uh, both sides of the idler. Just pick, pick the shims in place and then uh, add the bolts through all the way. So just kick it a little bit if it's tight. As you can see, the idlers are placed differently. One goes up top and one is uh, on the lower side. So just pick everything in place. Make sure you add the shims and uh, get the bolts all through. Add some lock nuts up top and don't tighten these very much. Make sure that the idlers run smooth. They should just be touching these uh, nuts. Now just add the bracket back in place and uh, make turn tightening the screws. Uh, place the machine on the side, it makes it easier for you to add the T-nuts correctly. Move on to the B side. Do the same as you did on the A side, except you place the idlers differently. So look at the COD model, look at the image, make sure you have the idlers correctly placed with the spacers as they should be. Don't forget the shims and just tighten and then loosen a little bit again so they don't squeeze the bearings. Check that the idlers run smooth and then add the bracket back in place. You have now finished the base frame. Congratulations! In the next part, we are going to look at adding the Y carriers and the X axis and the bed frame. See you soon!